This is the TRX Katsu Body Saw. For this position, you want to be face down, but you begin on your back. From there, you put your feet up through the stirrups to about midfoot, pull your toes up towards your knee, and then roll over to your forearms and knees. Wiggle your feet so the straps are nice and even. To make it hard, you go away from the anchor point. To make it easier, you go back towards. So first, we'll start harder. You squeeze your glutes, hollow your stomach, and straighten your knees to raise your body in the air. Hold that position and saw forward and back on those forearms. Make sure you keep your stomach tight and your glutes tight. If that's difficult, simply work your way back to underneath the anchor point and it'll make it a little bit easier for you. When you're done, bend your knees, take them to the floor, pull your feet out of the stirrups, and work your way back to the seated position. This is the TRX Katsu Bicep Curls. For this exercise, you want to begin with the TRX handles about waist level or slightly lower. You're going to face the anchor point, grab onto the handles. You want your palms up and you want your elbows and your upper arm parallel with the floor when you curl. So keep your body nice and tight, let your arms straighten out and bring your knuckles to the top of your forehead. If this is too difficult, simply take a step back, put your body more vertical, and again, trying to keep your elbows pointing forward and your upper arms level and parallel with the ground. Now, if this is difficult, you can take another step back and you can change the position of your arms by just pulling your knuckles to your chest and curling. And these are the TRX Katsu Bicep Curls. This is the TRX Katsu Atomic Push-Up. Now, for this exercise, you want to be face down, but we begin on our back. Take your feet, go up through the stirrups, point your toes up to your knees, and roll over to your forearms and your knees. So roll on over, wiggle out the straps so they're nice and even. You want the stirrup handle right about that midfoot. Nice and comfortable, keep your toes up. From there, you're going to straighten your arms out and go into a push-up position. So go up on your hands, now lift your knees up in the air, lower your body down to a push-up position, and on the way up, suck your stomach in, and bring your knees all the way in as far as you can. Straighten your legs back out and lower down to a push-up position. Come on back up, pull them in. One nice fluid motion, legs out when you go down, legs in on the way up. From there, go right down to your knees, back to your forearms, and you can pull your feet out of the stirrups and go back to a seated position. This is the TRX Katsu Chest Fly. Now for this exercise, you want to begin with the TRX handles about knee level. We're gonna start hard and then we'll work our way to an easier position. From here, grab onto the handles and you wanna stand directly underneath the anchor point. You're going to bring your hips forward, keep your stomach tight, keep your glutes tight, keep your thumbs pointing up and slowly let your chest come to the floor, keeping your arms nice and stable and sink into the motion. Bring your hands together and push your hips back. So again, keep your hips tight, keep your stomach tight, let your arms come out to the side. You can bend your elbows if you need to, and then come back to the start. Now, if that's difficult, simply take a step away from the anchor point where your body's more vertical and sink forward and come back with your chest. Again, easier. All you need to do is take a step away to go more vertical, and you can even change your foot position by putting a step forward and taking stress off your chest. And that is the TRX Katsu Chest Fly. This is the TRX Katsu Chest Stretch. Now for this exercise, you want to face away from the anchor point. You start with the TRX handles about mid-thigh or a little bit lower. From here, stagger your feet, put your hands with your thumbs up, and simply lean forward and try to separate your chest and then pull back. If that's too difficult or if you feel any sort of pain, you can adjust your feet, you can adjust your elbows, but primarily you wanna make sure that as you go back, you keep your hands up, your thumbs up, and let your chest open. You want to avoid anything where you're pulling your shoulders or having your palms down. So you don't wanna do that. You always wanna keep your hands up your chest open and lean forward. And if that's difficult, you can always just change your foot position, take a step away from the anchor point, and just lean into the stretch, take a deep breath, and then come back. 
If you want to, you can also add in a side bend. So you can bend towards the front leg or away from the front leg to add a little bit more pull on those muscles. And that is a TRX Katsu chest stretch. This is the child's pose with a three point reach. So for this stretch, you wanna get down onto your knees, put your toes on the ground and sit back. If your knees hurt, you can always come away from your heels or you can put a pillow underneath your thighs and on top of your calves. But what you're going to do is you're gonna walk your hands out in front and once you get right over in front, you're gonna take a deep breath, sink your head down and you're going to push into the floor to push your butt towards your heels. Take a deep breath, breathe into the stretch and relax. And then you're gonna come off to one side, do the same thing where you sit back, tuck your head, push down into the stretch, breathe, relax, and then come over for the third point on the other side. Again, push back and stretch your obliques and your hips at the same time. And that's the child's pose with a three point reach. For the half kneeling three point hip flexor stretch, you're gonna begin by going down to one knee. You wanna take your other leg and put it out in front of you. Take a pole, a broomstick, or even a chair, and you wanna hang on to the top of that pole with both thumbs going up. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna put that pole out in front of you, and you're gonna sink forward, and as you do, let your arms come out in front, and just hang on to that pole and let your rest of your body just kinda of sink forward. That's the first point. The second point is, is you're gonna take that pole onto the outside of that front leg with that same side, thumbs up, and as you go forward, you're gonna pull the pole out to the side and you're gonna push down on that pole to add a little bit of that hip flexor stretch. The third point is bringing it on the inside of that foot behind your heel, put it there to block that thigh, hang onto that pole, and then turn and reach back while you hold that thigh open. Then switch legs and do the same thing on the other side. For the three-way toe tap, you want to begin by pressing your big toe into the floor to grab the floor with your foot. Relax your knee, keep your stomach tight, hang on to something, and you're going to take the other foot, tap it in front, barely bending your knee, keeping your heel on the ground, come back up, tap to the side, tap behind, and then switch feet. Push your big toe into the ground, tap in front, tap to the side, and tap behind while you keep your heel on the floor and your stomach tight and your pelvis level. For the three-way calf stretch, you want to keep your foot planted on the ground and you're going to drive your knee forward over the middle of your foot, then over your big toe and then out to your pinky toe while you maintain full foot contact throughout the entire stretch. For the ball roll, you want to use something small and round like a golf ball or a tennis ball or even a lacrosse ball. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the ball on the ground, put something in your hand to help you balance. You want to put as much pressure on that ball and roll it around on the bottom of your foot between the, your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel. So place the ball on the floor, use something for balance and put as much weight on that ball as you can while you roll that ball around and give yourself a nice little foot massage focusing on the triangle from your big toe to the pinky toe to the heel from there you're going to switch sides and do the other foot and that's the golf ball roll 